life and the question of death are enormous philosophical problems. Life is generally identified with a biographical duration, that of an individual from birth to death. A lifetime. Life is also linked to this duration. It's slow development and proliferation, generation, children, wealth, the accumulation of inheritance, heirs, territory. In other words, an extensive dimension. Can't we also imagine an intensive dimension of life? Being alive means being lively. Being lively means being speed, being quickness, being liveliness. All these terms challenge us. There is a struggle which we are trying to bring to light between metabolic speed, the speed of the living, and technological speed, the speed in phones, cars, media, etc. We want to examine this coupling from a political point of view, because this coupling may prove to be fatal. We know that video, for example, is capable of taking consciousness by speed. After eyeglasses, hearing aids, etc., we have in technology a kind of prosthesis on the liveliness of consciousness. The problem is not to use technology, but to realize that one is also used by it. That doesn't mean we should go back to the horse and buggy. Yet the invention of the car is the invention of the car crash. Hmm. We ask ourselves, what do we want? The horizon is technological. It's the moon. And consciousness seeks its inevitable direction. Know this. We have landed on the technological continent. 